hello guys welcome to my channel my name is Uru in case you're new to my channel thank you for stopping by if you're a returning subscriber thank you for staying subscribed today I'll show you guys how I made mashed potatoes so before I get started if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell to all to get notified when I upload new video share this video with your friends if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and um, comment in the comment section below so guys the full list of ingredients that I used in this recipe will be in the description box below so the first thing you need to do is to wash your potato and peel them and then cut them into chunks you can choose to cut them in chunks before peeling whichever way you prefer so the kind of potato that is actually best for mashed potato is the potato for baking it is because it has little moisture and tons of starch. It also makes the best fluffy mashed potato. So after cutting the potatoes in chunks, just add them to your pot with water and salt. Then put them on the burner to cook. You can as well boil the water and salt before adding the potato to cook. So within 10 to 15 minutes your potato should be soft enough but make sure you do not overcook it. Drain out the water and then put a saucepan or whatever you want to use and add some milk and butter then put the heat on low medium heat and wait for the butter to melt when the butter melts add back your boiled potatoes Then mash them with your potato masher. Hey guys, if you've gotten up to this stage and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, turn on the notification bell to all to get notified when I upload new videos. Please share this video with your friends comment in the comment section below if you find this video really helpful please give it a thumbs up you can also contact me on instagram at gurus underscore kitchenet so just blending some salt and pepper to taste i used black pepper So I'm just going to go ahead and use my ladle to mix the whole thing properly so that the salt and pepper is well blended in. So after blending in everything properly, I had to put it in the refrigerator to chill a bit before serving. So guys, that's basically all about this video. So thank you for getting this far and thank you for watching my video. Please, if, if you find this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up and share with your friends please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet turn on the notification bell to all to get notified when i upload new video i hope to see your feedbacks and um, i also hope to see you in my next video
thank you so much enjoy and uh, bye